Hello. <laughs> Deep breath, right? Hello, you guys, and welcome in to Tammy Loves Vintage. This is my um, page where I share ideas for um, vintage creations, and I share decor ideas, and I love to just visit with you. So it brings my heart joy to create treasures with you, and it also brings me joy to know that a lot of my treasures are in your home as well. Um, and so while we're waiting on some people to come in, I thought I would tell you what I'm up to is I've had my Valentine decor box sitting on my dining room table now for a couple of weeks, as a lot of you know that have been following me. And I want to, um, I think it's time to get it out and get it out, get it out of the box and get it out into the house. Hi, Kim. Thanks for joining me. Glad to know you're here. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> um, thanks for saying hi. And um, it, because I don't, you know, Valentine's is like a quickie little um, holiday for me. It's our anniversary, actually. My husband and I got married on Valentine's Day. Um, back then when we were talking about it, we thought, well, what a more romantic way to treat all of our friends to a free dinner and can't be more romantic than a wedding. So uh, um, needless to say, I didn't realize that he was thinking he would never forget it. <laughs> it was on a holiday so he can't forget our, our anniversary right so anyway um I'm I but yeah it's a it's um one of those not like Christmas where I want to look at it for a long long time I don't have a whole lot um but I thought I've never done it this way before usually I you know display it all and then I take you around and show you or I just screenshot pictures of the displays but I thought a lot of this is handmade and I thought as I'm posting things to share with you. I'm getting so many questions about my things. And, you know, we've been doing uh, projects here on my page and in my um, crafting group for many years, the crafting group since 2019. And this page since at least 2013, I think is when I really kicked it in with this. So, um, yeah, I thought let's try it this way and we'll look at each item. If we get tired or people are dropping off and going to bed, we'll quit. But I thought it might be fun. So, um, recapping on a couple of things that I had on top of the box were the projects that we made together. Um, we made this little pocket heart that I shared one off of Pinterest and I showed you the difference in the seed beads or micro beads. I saw some people in the comments were calling them micro beads. I don't know which they are my first time. And then the difference in the glitter. And then I left everything lay out. And when I got home yesterday or yeah, when I, oh no, I didn't do it yesterday. That same night, whatever night it was, when I got home, I made a second one just, you know, because I had the mess out and I used all beads on that one. And I put the word dream. This one says believe. This one says dream. So I'll work those into my decor. And as I, or probably when I'm all done decorating, I'll snap pictures to show you what I do with it. That was another comment that I saw a lot in the comments. So what do you do with that? What do you do with it? You know, once you make it, what do you do with it? So, um, and that's Tammy to the rescue, right? Because we know what to do with it here, don't we? Um, and if you're new, you'll find out what I do with it. So the other project that we made um, were these hearts that I covered with old um, quilts, old, um, well, my friend calls them cutter quilts, but that I think that's a broad term for a quilt that's damaged that you're going to cut up. Um, these were um, crazy quilts is what these were cut from an old crazy quilt. And I just put them on some wood and I wrapped the sides and then I added, um, I added lace obviously. So, and then a, a little jewel. So there's that if you missed that. And then a big one for us um, is this, this heart that we made together and I did finish the edge. So I was waiting until we did this to show you the finished edge. And this was the edge that I came up with. Um, we started with this pretty white um, piece of trim. Everybody said, oh, it's too white, don't use it. So I stained it with tea. I made some tea, ice, like iced tea, and I stained it. So you can see I got it a little bit warmer so it wasn't quite as white. So a lot of people had asked me, what did you end up doing? I did the little practice strip that I told you I was going to do and it turned out way too dark. I thought it was too dark and too matchy with the paper. However, once it dried, it did dry a little bit lighter 
but you can see I went very, I went, I didn't want it that dark. I didn't want it to match my paper. So here are the three levels. I have what I started with. I have the darker where I used more tea bags and then I added water to thin it down a little bit and got the bottom one. So there's the white on the top. Then I darkened, I did darker tea. I used three tea, three family size tea bags and maybe two or three cups of water. And then I added like two or three more cups of water and got the bottom one. I just put it in and let it soak for just maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Pulled it out, rang it out and let it dry. And then I glued it onto my board and this is how it came out. So this, those are the three projects that we have done so far this year. Um, I don't always do a ton of Valentine's and remember this is Valentine over the years, things that I haven't, um, things that I've kept and haven't sold. Um, a lot of times I make things and sell them. Um, oh, I bet there's a flower missing. I bet I had another flower in here. Um, hot glue on metal doesn't always hold up in packing. So we'll see if we come across it. I added an old necklace. Um, I just posted this one today to show you this little old, I added a heart doily that I, I don't even know where I found it. I don't remember. This was years ago. Um, and these, I have put a little red clock face. I remember finding that little red clock face and I thought, oh, I can use that for Christmas or Valentine. So I put it on here. Um, I had the little Valentine bears. I don't even know where I found them. I don't remember. Uh, and then this was part of a necklace. And so I glued it to the bottom. I added greens, a little, a little pinch of lace there. The background is just glittered scrapbook paper that I punched out a heart and um, glued it in. And there you go. We have a cute little old uh, metal. It's an old metal tin shaped like a heart, probably a jello mold. I think the tart pans, I'm not super up on what everything is, but I think the tart pans have the rippled, the like rippled edges, I'm pretty sure, but that could still be a tart pan. I don't know, you guys probably know better than me. Um, I think we shared this one the other day and it is just a heart. Well, I don't know that we shared this one because my name, I have my initials on it. Um, there's another one. There's probably another one down in here unless I sold it, but I kept this one because there was an old, I found old brass stamps and it says TN and that's my initials, Tammy Neff. So, um, I, I put those on a heart and, um, we'll just prop it in my decor so I covered the front and the back. And this is, I did this a long time ago, so I could see that the new me would probably tweak it out a little bit more, but it's still fine and sweet and all that. Um, this one we just posted the other day as well. Um, let's see here. And I think my tails are too long for one thing. Here's the other tail I was looking for. I think the tails are too long. I'm gonna snip them down. There should be one more tail. Oh, I probably use that to hang maybe. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is a hanger. So I must've thought I was gonna hang it, but I didn't hang it. I propped it in. And the picture, it looked, the one lady, I think she was from Australia. She says, it looks like bugs. She thought it was bugs. <laughs> and it's white, um, white split peas, uh, black eyed peas, black eyed peas. Yeah, they're white beans with a little black dot. And I stuck it in here and I wanted to be sure to show you guys this because it is, it was hard to tell the way I had it set. Here is the heart. And then I put just a big fluffy piece of lace on the top. And then this pretty dark lace that was in contrast. And then this, I loved this pin. It was an old pin. And um, let me just show you the pin is like the best part of the whole thing. And I love this couple in there. And I thought how perfect to put this couple on a heart. And so, um, and it spins, when you take it out, it, it turns. But anyway, I loved it and it was just one of those things I wanted to keep. So I had, um, I had the wooden dough bowl and I filled it with the white beans and I tucked this in it and I tucked this in it together. It kind of made a little vignette like for a table out of it. And I can show you a picture of that. Um, better or I can actually get that bowl put together and show it to you. Um, and then this, I've seen some people doing this. This is old. So when every year when I unpack it, it kind of comes apart a little bit. I, I glued it as I went, but it's still when you pack it year after year, 
Uh, but I just took a heart form like this. Is it the same? No, it's smaller than this one, but a wooden heart form, if you remember what this looked like, and just started wrapping it with uh, textured, here, textury um, yarn, not ribbon, yarn. Okay. And then I went all the way around, round, 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 and I just kept going and I glued and I'm going to have to glue a little bit more again in packing it kind of, but I loved it. And now that I, now years later, you know, when you want to critique and be like, mm, I don't know, I should have probably put a darker something around this to pop these little raised hearts would have been really pretty, um, a different lace. You could picture it to make them show up because they don't really show up great. Um, you know, now that I'm older and wiser, <laughs> let's say that. Um, and then I did another heart years ago. Um, I covered it. Well, this was an old sign from Dollar Tree, probably, or Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm going to say Dollar Tree. Um, it, this is like raised here and I just flipped it over. I covered it with old paper. And then I had a heart doily, so I put that down. And then I added, I cut a felt heart. Um, I think this was off of an old sweater. I think this was a sweater, and the heart was on a sweater, and I cut it out. I cut the stitching and put that on, and then I papered up another heart and put that on top. So it's four, four different heart shapes, and then I added a a boinky seam binding bow there at the top, which that's a little sad, <laughs> but that's how it was. And it looks cute in the, um, yes, I could put little glass beads now that I know. And wouldn't it be fun to jazz these all up a little bit? Like even this leftover lace around this heart to match the other heart would be really pretty. Let's see. Let's just see. Would it? I think it would. Um, it's fun when you pull out all of your, yeah, that would be a nice little touch to change it up a little bit. I've cut a ton of this, so I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I just have made so much stuff every year. I go, oh my gosh, when I unpack my Christmas, it's insane how much I've made. So I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, and these are still there. This one, I don't know if it was these same words. I just saw that they still had them, and, um, Years ago, Kathy Domenico made um, or was showing diamond dust. And so I diamond dusted these to give my, I think this was probably the first time I ever tried it. And I loved how it gave the boards a little bit more excitement than what they were just straight up from Hobby Lobby. They were just, you know, this, I, just, I still have, oh, it just says Hobby Lobby. It doesn't have the price. But anyway, um, I don't think I ever hung them. I never used the ribbon. I always hit it and I prop tuck them in the in my decor. Um, and then I added the little tool skirt and a little bow um, to that one. It would be curious if someone handed me this today to see what I would do with them and how they would come out. I glittered the heart that he's giving her and added a bow. Um, so this is something you guys could go to Hobby Lobby and grab your boards and have fun um, dressing them up. I think now I probably would have made her dress dimensional like the other girl. Why Why didn't I do that? I don't know. Because I should have. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Um, oh, look here. Okay. So I have some... I have this Valentine bag from Tara at Sweetwater Trading. She sent me that and a little Valentine to do something with. So that'll go over here to stay on my craft table. And then um, I think these were in um, Amazon. They might be in my Amazon at the top of the thing in my Amazon craft uh, page. Um, you should be able to find these and they are vintage reproduction of old Valentines and they're all punch outable. Let me show you the perforated backs and you can make, it looks like they have the envelopes. You can make the envelopes, um, but you can punch them out if you can tell. So we might do something with that. I've had that a couple years and haven't done anything with it yet. Um, but yeah, oh look, I have a blank heart. Ha! Huh. Well, maybe we'll come up with something else. I'm gonna leave that over here on the craft table. I have a blank heart. Um, oh, I've already shown you guys these. I just stuck them on the corner, but just in case anybody missed it. Um, 
These are old postcards. Uh, I'm not reading your comments, but I will. I will when I uh, probably when I crawl into bed to fall asleep. I want to um, I want to keep going here, but keep commenting away. I'd love to sit and chat with you guys. Now I can only answer a hundred, and Facebook shuts me down for the night. So just know that um, I may just like yours. You know, like 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 to get through them all. And um, I had to post the other night that I couldn't comment. There were several that I still wanted to comment on and Facebook wouldn't let me. It just, it kept coming up. Um, your account has been frozen or whatever. It wouldn't let me do anymore. And I had to dismiss, I had to push the dismiss button, like acknowledge that I overdid it. <laughs> so these are old postcards. I just wrapped, wrapped lace. There's an old clock on that and some buttons just to tuck in with my decor. As you can see, there's kind of a little you know, a little look going on here um, where everything kind of matches in. There's a definitely a, a feel, or I was gonna say a theme going. Um, maybe you can tell. Um, just like, I like the lots of pops of red. I love the vintage. Um, so, you know, in adding all of this, it all kind of works together. So let's see, where can I put these so they don't get, I'll just lay them there on the table. And then I had, a, I just see one, but I had a couple of hearts, just loose ones that I laid in just for props, like the great big one that I didn't glue down, okay? Hi, you guys. Hi, Jenny. Hey, Lisa. Uh, thanks, Susie. Uh, and then I have a heart stencil. I think I had this out the other day, but I don't, I don't remember if I used it or not. Um, and then let's see here. Oh. I've got, I've got red shred, um, foil shred. Sometimes I put that in a bowl. Um, I have some hearts, not a lot left, but I have a few hearts to work with. I have some napkins to work with. Um, I have a bag, I think I have more than that, but I have a bag of these hearts to work with. Um, uh oh, look here. Ah. Look at this. Oh, look at that. I love the old wood handled. Um, so a lot of times I'll work these kinds of things in my decor. Um, I have some heart tins. Here's an old heart tin. So I can work that in. There's a different shaped heart tin. Is it? No, it's the same. I have two of those. Um, and then I have these rusty hearts. I remember finding these. I think they were like a dollar a piece. I don't think they were very much. I don't remember. But I thought they were so cool. They're rusty metal hearts. Now, where I, you can't, I don't know where to tell you you'll ever find these. I've never seen them again. This came apart. Um, it just needs probably bent back together. I don't know. But these ones are good. Uh, okay, so I have those for decor. That goes in my decor pile. Oh, I think I just posted a blog post, a blog post about this. When would it, what's today, Sunday? Maybe Friday? It's not very far back in my feed. Um, but I made little heart out of clay um, and then painted it and I pressed stamps, IOD stamps, and just any kind of stamps, really. They didn't necessarily have to be IOD. It was whatever stamps I had. I'm not sure they are all IOD. And um, they prop, these prop great with, you know, this too. In, like in the little vignette, like this makes a really great, so stay tuned. I'll, do, I'll get all of this out and put away for you all to see. Um, I did this one with heart or with polka dots, this heart with polka dots. This one has words. I did not make them all hangable. So these are just solid. These are not hangable. These are tuckable, tuck inable. Okay. I had fun that year. I punched them with a, um, with like, well, with something like this. I cut them out with, um, a, a, <laughs> A jiggly <laughs> cookie cutter, <laughs> different size cookie cutters <laughs> with jiggly edges. Anyway, so we have those to work with. Um, what's this? Oh, these are just these are just buttons that I have that I saved in my Valentine stash. Um, little button stacks. We were messing around with button stacks, probably in the group, not here on the page. And so I have these button stacks. I don't know that I'll do anything with them this year, but um, I have those. 
in here. Oh, and remember when I was doing the, oh no, in my group, I was in my group and we were doing the bunny and I wanted to, um, somebody said, I was having trouble getting the nose and somebody said you'd do a heart nose and then I, the cotton kept pulling. I was having a lot of trouble. So someone suggested a heart button and I said, I think I have heart buttons. I found them, so maybe we'll do, if we do another project, I'll put these buttons in my button drawer so I'll have them for the future for a bunny because I'm sure I'm going to do that again. That was super swell. Um, another thing I absolutely love and highly recommend you go buy is bags of these hearts at Hobby Lobby. I can't tell you how many bags this is. I don't know. Over the years, I've just picked up more and more, uh, but they had them. I saw them. Um, they have them every year. But there, some are shimmery and some are matte finish. And I use them in my decor all the time. Um, I put them in, yeah, <laughs> zigzag edges, Sue. I don't, the, the words don't come easy tonight, right? Um, but anyway, these look great in a, like if you like a silver tray, decorating in a silver tray, these are great instead of the beans that I usually, you know, show you guys to cover the bottoms of your containers. These are great in clear candy dishes in vases that you, if you have a clear vase and you want to stick some stems in there, some white roses or something, this would be really beautiful rather than leaving your uh, vase clear and then showing all the stems, you know, I don't like that. So <laughs> this is a good, this is a good hide for you. Um, let me see here. Okay. Here's, these are still there, but they're, I, I don't remember if they, oh, hang on a minute. Let me get them all. I have, looks like I've only got three of these now. Um, oh, stuck. All the glitter stuck to my yarn. Okay, hang on a minute. Oops, I'm showing you the back. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to have you up so high. Um, and I gotta dig more of those out. Okay, here we go. No, they're not glass. I don't know what they are. They're not glass. They're some kind of plastic, probably. Um, I don't know what they are. I don't think they're glass. No, <laughs> I don't think they're glass. They're too lightweight to be glass. And I've never had one break. I don't think they're glass. Okay, when you go to Hobby Lobby, these were, when I bought them, 2021. These, are they all 2021? Yes. Uh, it says Valentine 2021. They were $6.99. And I'm sure I got them on sale. So, um, I wanted to dress them up a little bit. Uh, I can't remember. I think did I add the glitter? It kind of looks like I did. But it's so perfect. Would I have done it that perfect? Maybe the red glitter was there and I added the, ah, oh, but that's what it was. I bet the red glitter is already on there. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was 2021. I don't remember. Uh, but you can see there's glitter on them. I don't know if I did it or they came that way, but I did the base. The bases are real, they're black, and they have writing on them. And I I didn't love the base. You can see they were black, and they have white writing. And the white just didn't, I didn't care for the base. So I covered it with vintage paper to make it look, um, oh, did I use stickles? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Susie, you remember and I don't. Oh, my gosh, that's terrible. Uh, and then I diamond dusted over my papers. I've got, I've got uh, yarn here sticking but here's another one that I did and another one now I don't know if they have the same styles or not and I don't know if your Hobby Lobby has them but mine does so we glittered her dress um yeah okay we use stickles well that might explain why they the lines are so good I don't know I don't remember honestly okay so I loved those though and I found those because those are like vintage valentines I mean they're you I, those are like vintage valentines like go Hobby Lobby, right? Um, you know, as a vintage shopper person, you can't always find vintage things. So it's, it's nice sometimes to be able to. Um, okay. I picked these up. I don't know that I've used these a whole, whole lot, but I've got them <laughs> if I need them. Um, I don't know. We'll put them on my craft table and we'll see. You did some with me. Okay. <laughs> well, your memory is better than mine. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I bought this who knows where and I hung it on my fireplace. I don't know where I got this. But any little bunting thing would do. And how fun to do this up even better 
really. It just came on a string on a, on a, on a, um, what is this? Jute string. And so I added this trim around it and I added a button. And now that I look at it, like I could, I could blow it out, right? How fun to blow it out. It says be mine. And I hung it on my fireplace. I don't know that I'll use it this year. I don't know. Maybe we'll decorate it up a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I have that. I guess the, the point of this one is when you get something, see if you can make it better. But I, I'm seeing a bag full of that trim here. I could still jazz it up even more or like maybe red pom-poms. I don't have any. I have white and cream. But just something more fun. This is just still kind of blah to me. I feel like if I fix it up, I'll do it with you, okay? Um, I don't know that I will. I don't know. I don't, it just depends on how my fireplace goes. You know, if I keep it super vintage, then that probably isn't going to go well if I jazz it up too much. So it just depends what I do. And I don't know until I start doing. I just don't know. Um, I may just set a few of these things in with what I've already got and call it, call it done. Uh, but yeah, some red vintage lace here. I have red cream, so that's great. I'll put that in the craft. And then let's see what do we have here. Oh, here's, oh, what is that? Hmm. I have some paper hearts, some paper, like, um, you know, like in the cake decorating. These are old. I've got a couple. Oh, they're kind of sad, but you know, if you need a, if you need a heart, a lacy looking paper heart. It's a lacy paper heart. Have that. I have, looks like I've punched or, no, I've punched them, um, some hearts out of some shimmery paper. It's got a little, little foil, there you go, a little foily look. And I see one of these. This is just everything that I threw in my Valentine box and don't look back. Oh, here's a couple more heart buttons. Let's get those out of here. Here's more heart buttons. Here's a little piece of clay that says love use that so I'll lay these aside and put those in with the hearts later uh, with the buttons oh let's see this is is this one of those no okay so that'll go in my craft stuff hang on um we made this I loved this we did this one I think we did this one in the group and and I my over the years my yarn ends have frazzled and stuck to things like this you can see the, the, well, no, you can't maybe, but I sure can. The furry, I, you can't see it, but I've got little fur from this. So I think I'm going to have to retassel the ends, but I've tied the knots. No, I didn't even tie it. It just stayed nice. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to do something with these ends. But I love this. This will definitely go on the fireplace. And I think I layered this with that other garland that I just showed you. But this is just punched paper hearts. And then I glued it to yarn. So I took a, you know, like chunky yarn. Like you can't tell. Let's see. The other end might have had a little bit. Yeah. Here, there's what it looked like. That kind of yarn, whatever that is. And then I put, I punched hearts out and I glued. I just, you know, like laid a heart down and I stuck the yarn on it, glued it. And then I put glue on the other side and I stuck another heart on it. And I did that all the way down. And it made a really cute... You know, it would be really cute if you put a wooden bead in between each one. That would be super cute. I can't do that now. Put the yeah, I could put it in its own Ziploc bag to keep it from doing that. But look, it's really, it's really tired. I think I need to cut it off and do something else on the ends. Maybe a lace tassel on the ends would be really pretty. Um, I just got to notice that my phone's dying. So let me plug it in here. I've been live in the group. We had to make a... I had to make a, something special for one of my ladies. Um, her daughter had passed away this summer, and she had bought a crystal glass angel and asked me to mount it on black, frame it somehow, and mount it on black um, velvet. So we did that together in the group because I needed, I needed help from the girls. A little bit of advice as I went along. I was out of my wheelhouse on that one. So um, I have an old heart doily I've never used, or not a doily, but an old heart canker chip, but I thought it was adorable. I love the scallops. So maybe we'll press that. Maybe I'll lay that on my steps. Let me put it over there where I see it and I'll um, take it up and iron it. 
maybe we'll put that in our decor this year. Oh, here's another sliver of that lace. Um, here's some wooden hearts that you can get these at Hobby Lobby. I, I don't know. I think I put those in my boxes for giveaways. Um, I did this. I wanted to punch a pinch of, pinch of black. I don't want this anymore, but um, it's a black yarn. I used black yarn. You can't there, put it on my face. Make a mustache. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, this is just a little one, but yeah, I don't think I, yeah. meh, whatever. Um, there's that. Oh, let's see here. More napkins. These always make a nice little backdrop. Um, oh, and I have some polka dot fabric. Oh, that's not a napkin. Um, there's my napkins. I, have, I don't know. I don't know why that's in there. I've done something with it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, here's my heart doilies. I must have bought a whole pile of them. Look at that. I wish I had the smaller ones. I told you the other day I had heart doilies. And I do. I wasn't kidding, was I? Let me show you. I don't know where I got them. I don't remember. But I got a, I got a big two of them here. Okay. Um, so we'll put that in the craft pile as well. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some shiny, this looks like Christmas fabric, but I, I've got it in here. <laughs> Stitch two together and make a pillow. Yeah, that would be cute, wouldn't it? But I'd have to line it because you would see the, yeah, I don't know. I don't like sewing. I'll mail them to you and you can do it for me, Lisa. <laughs> Easier said than done for me. I'm not a sewer. I'm <laughs> really not. I found another heart that in that bag and then a couple more of these hearts that just get tucked in I've already shown you those okay now these usually need a little touching up every year um, but I did a oh, I've done some displays different displays with these um, and they're uh, red foil so I bought green apples let's see if I can find um, yeah, not very well you can see a little bit of green. There's a nice, these are just green apples from Hobby Lobby. And then I red foiled them. And so they're just very pretty. It was just a pretty way to pop some red. I think I did a, um, you know, dough bowls were super popular. I still have three or four of them. I'm not sure they're on my website anymore, but I saw them downstairs. Um, I still have a medium size, which is my favorite size, and a couple small, maybe two and two. I don't know. But anyway, these I had, like we used to do great big dough bowls. Everybody was dough bowl crazy. Um, and I think I worked these in amongst the the um, black eyed peas, right? The split peas, the white, the white beans with the black dot, whatever they're called. Um, and they were really pretty with some greenery and such. And it was really pretty. So that's an easy thing to do. You can buy red leaf. Um, red leaf foil. I've got some right here. So it just comes in sheets and it's exactly like the gold leaf. It's just called red leaf. And um, it comes just, you know, like that. And you just, you use a really sticky, um, I use uh, Wonder, Wonder, not Wonder Under, what uh, is it called Wonder Under? Wonder whatever it's called and it's not here. It's at the house. Uh, I want to say Wonderlust. I have Wonderlust in my head. It's not that. <laughs> it's it's not Wonder Under. That's something with fabric. I can't remember. But it's a stick. It, it, just a gold leaf adhesive. Let's just say that. It's just an extra strong adhesive. Um, here's another one of those hearts I found. I need to talk, I need to do a little better job of packing. Um, oh, I bought this dumb little thing. Didn't do a thing with it, but I stick it in my house plants. <laughs> So, every year, um, I don't know why I have that. Maybe somebody gifted it to me. I don't remember now. I don't even remember. Um, oh, here, I told you. I told you. Here's the little flower that fell off of that tin. I knew there was a flower missing. I found it in the bottom of my box. So, I'll add that back on later. Um, here are some more doilies that I have. So, when you're shopping, um, the doilies are, are not doilies. The handkerchiefs are always nice. This one has a butterfly on it. But if you have a little vignette, um, 
and you know you just need a little pop of red like how pretty is that and just the texture of it and then maybe you've got your maybe you've got a um uh, you know a little greener this isn't very good one, maybe you've got a little greenery in your um basket you know with the little red berries and you stick a couple of apples in amongst that you know it's just cute that's rough really rough 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 but <laughs> you get the idea um you get the idea uh and so and then this one had black i don't know why i have it in the valentines other than sometimes like with that black yarn i pop the black in one this size that's it debbie you win that's it couldn't think of the word um i have some red beads that's kind of cool i don't know where that came from these need ironed. I'm gonna throw these over there with my ironing pile. Um, I don't know if I work these. They've got hot glue on them, so I've cut it off and used it part of this strand on something. But again, that's a neat thing to add through your decor. So that'll go in the decor side. If I don't use it in my decor, it will come back in and go to the craft side. Here's a little doily that I saw and thought that was super, it's not hearts, but it's red and it's vintage color so I'll work that into my decor um some more stencils so I need to put this with the stencils here's another little vintage valentine to Josephine from Marguerite to Josephine from Marguerite I speak from my heart so I hope you will know when you read my hear my letter that you are my beau Valentine's greetings. So I have an old Valentine. I'll stick that over there on the craft side. I have some little heart stencils. I'll put with my other stencils. I have a, um, you're going to laugh at these. I have several of these different colors over with my handkerchiefs. It's not a handkerchief. It is uh, belly dancing. It's something to do with belly dancers. And it's, but it's a beaded silk. I mean, they're old and tattered. Look. But we can make it, we can make it still beautiful. Like, look, if you hung that, let me grab this back for this. If you had this hanging out and then you layered it with this hanging out, you know, you, it's rough, but you can see it can be really pretty or let's see, this might be too white, but yeah, see, you get the idea. So when I get it all worked into my decor, I will show you. Okay. I don't, I don't mean this to be teasing or anything. I just thought you might enjoy seeing things um, that you can be looking for. And um, yeah. so I have more of these, but they're not in this box. They might, might, might be over at the house. Um, I had a little, we have a little house, a little rental property, and it uh, became vacant. And my husband and I kept talking about downsizing, so we cleaned it all up and started kind of moving things in and were torn whether to downsize. And those that have followed me for a long time were constantly asking me, did you move in? Did you move in? Well, before we officially moved in officially, I was pretty moved in, but um, my daughter decided to come home from Arizona with the baby and her husband and dogs. And so they needed a place. So they took over the little house and they're there. She thinks for sure through the summer. And then we'll have to go back to deciding if we want to move to the little house. Um, it's very little. It's 900 square foot. Um, so, and I have a lot of stuff. So it makes us both very nervous. I need my stuff. I love my stuff. So <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. I was more gung ho about it um, than he was. I was ready to go because of we live on three acres and it's a lot of mowing for him. And so I wanted to go for his sake. And I set up my craft, I took all my craft stuff from here. I used to have a store and I had a, a studio also, another location where we did craft classes and then there was nobody in the store beside of it. So I kind of used it for back stock and made it look pretty and set it all up. And people during the craft classes could go over there and shop. So I kind of had three locations and when I closed everything, he just didn't, he did not like me having all of that. So when I closed everything, you know, it all kind of sold what I could. A lot of it came here. Um, and so when it came here, a lot went to the basement. 
a lot. I tried to set the dining room up to be my craft area and then I put some up in the guest bedroom and like my website stuff was up there and I just felt very strung out. Every time I would do a video, I would I would wish I had something from the basement or something from upstairs. Or before I did a video, I would run down and get this and this and this. And I'd sit there and think it through and think it through. And then I'd run upstairs and get something. Then I'd have to go back downstairs. And it was like a lot. So when I started moving things to the little house, I set the basement up with everything. All of my craft stuff, my website stuff, everything was there in one place. And I loved it. I loved it. I, I felt it. I felt creative. I felt the whole thing. It was great. So... When they moved in, I thought, okay, I'll just go over there to craft and I can see the baby. Well, that was just, I was felt too intrusive on their time and their home. So I started bringing things home. So this is my office. My shipping boxes are back there for the website. And when I do live sales and my desk is there and I set the rest of this up and started bringing all of my craft supplies here. So when I say it's at the other house, there's still a closet room that has a lot of things that I need to bring. Um, but the more I work in this space and can just step out of the camera two or three steps to grab what I need and I'm back is amazing for me. And I'm loving my home again. So I'm like, I don't want to move now. <laughs> so keep mowing and get over it. He's in the other room. We're gonna see how this happens. How the, yeah, I know. But a lot of my stuff is still over there, like the dough bowl with the beans in it, or I'd go grab it and show you, but it's over there in the drawer. I know right where it is. Um, like all my antique stuff is, everything on the walls, I have nothing on the walls here, and the walls over there are all decorated, and they don't like my stuff. So it's just, it's, we're just disarray. I've been in disarray for over a year. Um, I, Linda, it's too expensive. It, to pay someone to mow three acres and trim everything out like he does and stuff, no way. No possible way. We're not doing that. He, no. It's not a little yard. It's a big yard. <laughs> and it's a big, a big hill. And yeah, it's a lot. So anyway, I don't know how I got into all that. But I found these on I think Etsy. I'm not frozen. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I found these on Etsy. And I have more, and I think they're over there in the drawer, but I have like a whole, there was like a handful like this, and I absolutely love them. It was, it's this, they're wool stuffed, they're, it's all wool all the way through, and they're stuffed hearts, and I absolutely adore them. And I think they're over there in the drawer, um, because actually we shared the picture of this, and it was such a poor picture, the way everything was covered over the heart. And you almost couldn't tell, it was, looked like that. You could, really couldn't even tell it was a heart in the post that I did. So I ran over and grabbed this so that I could show what it looked like. And this, the bowl with the beans was shoved in the drawer. Felted, maybe. Yes, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, they are felted. I bet you're right, Stephanie. Um, but they feel wooly to me who, you know, I don't felt. But anyway, this was in that bowl. And I know there were hearts in there. I just didn't grab them. And the other thing that was in there that I thought was cute was, again, another one of these heart pans. And I filled it with little buttons. The little ones. But if you have white buttons, just any but red buttons, whatever you have, they are felted. I bet you're right. I think you are right. For sure. Um, anyway, I the little tiny... They're little. Um, and then I stuck a coin in there just for interest. And that was in the picture too. And people were probably like, what the heck is that? Because I even thought, why did I put that in there? That's so dumb. But I did. You know, it was so last year, right? <laughs> so last year. So whatever. Um, okay. Oh, I had these two. I don't know what this deal is. But I always love these two. And I always pin them on something. They're on a pin and someone crocheted. So if you can crochet or knit, whatever this is, I think crochet, um, these little hearts are adorable and they just stuck them to a hairpin. And I still, uh oh, somebody's mad at me. <laughs> so I just stuck them in there. Um, I'm, I'm about done. Um, you tried felting. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's a lot of poking, isn't it? Poking you and poking the project. 
Okay, I'm almost done here. Maybe that's why they were, maybe they hit it by mistake. Um, oh, here's another vintage card. To my Valentine. My dearest little friend of mine, will you be my Valentine? You from all the world I choose, do not then my heart refuse. Oh, how cute. And it's for Josephine from Juanita. <laughs> What's up with those girls, right? Um, yes, pull your ruffled heart tins out. Yep, because you're going to be needing them. And then I bought, I just bought another pack of these. I knew I had some, but I didn't know if I knew where they were or whatever. Uh, but these little hearts are at Hobby Lobby for sure. I know they're there and I absolutely love them. And I've put those in a little heart uh, tin right here. I've done this before and flip them all over where you can see them and just put those out for display as well. I flip them all over so they're not the wood backs. Uh, but these are super cute for your Valentine projects. So these are just actual little uh, like the candies, but they're wood. And I thought that was a cute way to display when I'm not, you know, when I'm not using them in a craft project. So, well, I'm probably going to leave them in my craft space, honestly, with all the colors, you know. Um, and then the last, but not least, this is the last, but not least, is these little things. And they are at Hobby Lobby still as well. And they are vintage Valentines that I definitely glittered these up. Um, there's two, and they have little stands on the back. Three, four. I absolutely loved them because they were so, like, authentically vintage. Not authentic, but copies of real, right? And then I have a couple of these that I was just going to craft with. And I've still got the Hobby Lobby tag on it, $2.99. Um, oops. And I just haven't done anything with them, but I have these. Oh, that's the same. So there you go. I have two of that to hang somewhere or whatever. So every year, my decor, I always do it a little differently. Um, I never look back and do anything the same. Um, and then I put a few of my greeneries from the website in my Valentine box so that I don't forget. But if you need any greenery with little red berries um, to pull, like I love how the greens kind of soften down your vintage, if you will. I just, I love the greenery. So um, I have some, but it's in the Christmas section on Tammy Loves Vintage on my website. So if you need any, um, those, I just have one of each of the pieces that I have. That's enough to pop in color for me because I'll have enough red, you can see. Um, but what's Valentine's without red? I know. What's Christmas without red? But I'm loving the pink. Everybody doing pink. I'm loving that look. But anyway, um, so there you go. If you joined late, you're going to have to catch the replay because my table is full and it's too much to show you. My box is empty. And so now before I can do another craft project, I have to decorate. That's why I unloaded it here instead of the dining room table so that I have to deal with this and get it all out where it looks nice. I will take pictures. I'll possibly do a walkthrough video with you. I don't know. I always feel kind of funny about those, but I know you guys like that. Um, yes, Debbie, I've got the box here. They're ready to go. I'll take them to the post office in the morning. Uh, my friend Julie has my computer, so I can't make your label. So I'll take them on my way to our paint job. Uh, I passed two different post offices, so I'll stop at one of them and drop it off in the morning for you. Um, thank you for that order. A plop. This is a plop. A uh, plop is a greenery sphere. It's, you know, a round sphere, but they cut it. They cut it. So it's got a bottom, and it's a half. It's actually what they call the technical term is a half sphere. Okay. I have them year-round. You can't find them? Okay, then I've got to add them. I might have taken them off because they're all upstairs. I was going to do a live sale, and I was going to do it um, with the Christmas, and I didn't get to it. So I'll have to go up and re-add. I'll do that. Um, I don't know how late it is. If it's not too late, I'll re-add them tonight. Um, but anyway, these are half spheres. So if you have, like, like this this frosted, this is frosty. Mm, let's see if I can get you to see. There, you can see a little bit of the shimmer, and it has a wreath to match, like this. And so a plop, though, if you have a candlestick, like I have a candlestick right here. Hang on. So let's say you have a candlestick, you just plop it. 
And that's why I called it a plop because you just plop them and they, and they do their thing. Um, I don't have any more plops here, but I have year round plop, plops, all kinds of them. And then I have flower picks and then I have not garlands. I'm not a garland person, but I carry like hanging down picks so that rather than walking up to your fireplace and putting a long garland and then say, oh, isn't it so pretty? Look what I did. I don't like that. I like to put my stuff in and then add picks where it's needed to make it more, I hate to use the word designer. I'm not really a designer, but to make it more custom maybe is a better word or more unique is another word um, rather than having someone come in and say, oh, I have that same garland that you have. This way it's more individual it's more unique and special so and then we have several of these as well just for a little wisp of color um if you wanted to and then you can set your things in you see it just adds a little softness and a little texture and if you follow me you'll learn about that i used to have a shelf um it was up in the bedroom where i had all of the website stuff and I had a, a big long shelf and I did what was called Walk Your Website Wednesday. And I would take things from the website and decorate my shelf. Um, you could, if you're like, I'm really curious, I really hope you do that again or I'm curious about that. Go to my YouTube channel, Tammy Loves Vintage and type in website or walk website. Um, and all of those videos should show up and you learn, I think you'll learn a lot. Everyone seemed to really enjoy the Walk My Website Wednesdays. I only know that when I run into people, um, they'll mention that they missed that. Uh, but so I hung the shelf at the little house in the dining room. And I, my intention was to walk my website Wednesdays at the little house. And, um, you missed them, Janet. Thank you. Uh, light fixture behind you changes brightness oh does it oh it is isn't it it might be getting ready to die I saw it it's an Edison ball that's been in there for a long long time I bet it's ready to go of course won't do it now that I'm looking I'll just get rid of it there you go <laughs> that won't bother you um but anyway I yeah I miss doing the walk my websites um I the problem was when you buy wholesale, you have to buy, um, you missed that too, Alma. I know it was so fun. It might be loose. It's probably too hot for me to, to check right now. I do move the shade around sometimes. Um, uh, so the shelf's at the little house. So I keep thinking maybe I should put a shelf here, but all my website stuff is over at the other house. So right now I'm just, just hang with me. Maybe next year we'll have our shit together. I did think I could do this, you know, walk my website and do the bookcase. But the so what I started to say is the problem is when you buy wholesale, you have to buy like 24s and 36s of one thing. And, you know, I'm just me. And so, you know, I to have 24 of these is a lot. You know what I mean? Like that's a lot. And to ask, you know, the handful of followers that are watching, um, it's... I need quite an array and I don't want to end up having a store again here. You know, I don't want a store in my house. If I'm going to have that much stuff, I need a store store and I don't want to get into that, but I enjoy so much the decorating side of all of this. And once you make it, what do you do with it? Part of it that, um, it was nice to have some things, but to get enough variety to do it every single Wednesday, I felt like I was showing the same things over and over and everybody's like, we don't care. Just care. But it bothered me that, you know, oh, she's got the same stuff again. So um, I keep thinking I need to do a sale, but I've got so many other things. This, I just have so much to do. So stick with me. We've got all kinds of things coming. I've got, I've, I keep telling you I have a sale. I have stuff in my dining room waiting. So I promised what last week, I think I promised to do it. And then with this birthday party coming up or the, came up and all that I'm like oh I just I didn't want to lock myself into it so maybe if I'm not too yucky tomorrow after work because I'm painting we're painting um let's see tomorrow should be trim we're still on trim on that job and then we may be able to start the walls depends on how the trim dries and if it needs a third coat or not um 
probably won't be too bad. Oh, sometimes I get home and just beat. I just don't want to do it, but we'll see. Uh, Tuesday night's craft night, and I have Millie all day. Wednesday I have Millie, so Wednesday night at the latest, maybe we'll put, maybe I'll pull some things together. And if I don't do it Monday night, I'll do it Wednesday night, and we'll do a little sale, and you can see what that's like with us. Um, so, all that. <laughs> um, you guys, thanks for watching. I will look through all of your comments. I can answer 100, so I don't know how many comments are here, but I can answer 100. And um, I kind of want to do a little bit of decorating. Um, what else was I going to do tonight? I said there was something else I'd do if it wasn't too late. Hmm. I don't remember. Yes, we got the arch done. I showed, I put a little video. If you look in my feed, Janet, I did a video of the balloon arch. It turned out so cute. Yes, it's done. Um, it was Millie's, it's Millie's birthday party. And it's, um, I show it in that video um, for her first birthday. So yeah, you'll see it. It turned out really cute. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Although both, I have both my fingers, I have a cut, <laughs> I have a cut here on this finger and here on this finger from tying and pulling, I guess. I don't know. But I woke up with both fingers cut. And if anything, I would have thought it was my thumb because when you tie, my thumb kept getting stuck in the balloons, you know? There's a lot of tying. So we had 100 balloons, and then we had to tie them into groups of four, and then we had to tie those groups of four into what you hang from. So uh, what is in front of you on the table? Oh, it's one of our one of our craft group projects. It's an old bottle. Um, oh, Patricia Provzan, I have, she wants this bottle if I ever decide to sell it. <laughs> I covered an old, um, it looks like an old Patron bottle actually. Um, and I used a doll head. Some You can buy these old doll heads. I've got a bunch of them and I added lace and we made a little doll out of an old bottle. So, um, if I get the sphere. Okay, Linda. Um, yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Yes. Okay. I'll go do that right now. I'll just go do that right now. Cause I, there are all of the descriptions and measurements and pricing is already on the website. It's just probably out of stock because I was going to put them in a sale. Sometimes when I do a sale and I include website items, I'll say I have four. Someone will go to the website and try to buy it, and I've already sold those four in my sale. And so, uh, but I hate to take them off, then I have to go put them back on if they don't sell. So it's a whole thing. So anyway, I think I took them off anticipating my sale that I did not have. So I'll go do that right now. And you guys have a great night. And if I can get any decorating done, I'll take pictures. And if not, I'll do them tomorrow. But yeah, we love making these little dolls. I, most of my dolls are at the, they're at the little house. They have their dog cages underneath my shelf so I can't reach them. The dogs are big. Um, here's another one that we did in the group. Um, we dressed her in this pretty um, fabric. It was an old dress sleeve. And then added, um, just for interest, the little, um, what do they call that? I can't think of what they call that, but the Victorian, whatever. I made it as the train. And then this is her sleeve, the sleeve of a dress that we turned in. It was beaded at the top. And we just had a shouldered, um, right, you see how handy this is? One of these doll heads. And then I moved, um, but that's that. And then I, we, I added it to a bottle and did her. These are, we do our extra things in our craft group together. So things that are a little more involved and a little more special are over there. Um, and then the simpler things I do here. And I try and bring everything over maybe a year later. But yeah, it's a bottle. It's a bustle. But yeah, they call it something. Not a Edwardian. I can't think of what they call it. They call it something, and uh, not an ask isn't an ascot. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Sometimes <laughs> I try to feel all like I know, but I don't always know. But these are the only two that I have here. Um, the other ones are over there. I spotted them the other day. But oh, I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. That's just a little. There you go. So happy Valentine's. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go work on the website right now and get the Christmas section, get this greenery back in the Christmas section. 
And then if I feel like it, I might do a little decorating. Otherwise, I'll wait till tomorrow night. And then I have a really cute craft project. I told the girls about it in the group, so I may, I may do it in the group. I think I've done my three for the month in the group, so I might just do some over there and some over here too because I think you guys would enjoy it as well. Um, so we'll see. I don't know what's to come, but something is. I, oh, I do have another project over there waiting. Actually, there's two, so I'll be back. I'll see you again sometime soon. Have a great day. Thanks for, or a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.